Hey, what's up? This is Scott with the Level Up Tuts, and today we're gonna pick up where we left off the last lesson with URL aliases. And what we're gonna want to accomplish is setting up patterns so that when we create new content, our URLs are going to be nice and clean. Uh, to accomplish this, we're gonna have to install our first module and maybe a couple others. So to install our first module, what we're going to do is we're going to go to drupal.org. And under here, we're gonna search for uh, this particular module that we're looking for is called Path Auto. Um, typically though, if you want some sort of functionality and you're trying to accomplish it in, in some sort of way, um, you know, you just want to go to the search bar, search for modules, and see what you can find. Actually, I think Path Auto is spelled with one word. Okay, here it is. Okay, so this is your basic module page. Here you'll find all sorts of things. Notice this says requirements. It's going to require this token module as well. So I'm just going to open this in a new tab for after we do this. So here you can find all, all sorts of information about the version, the, the known issues, um, recommended modules. Over here you have uh, issue reports and bug reports. If you're having problems, Typically, you can come in here and see if other people are having those problems as well. And there's usually either bug fixes or patches or basically, hopefully, somebody is also having that problem so that you can um, troubleshoot and get to the bottom of what the problem is. So if we go down here, you'll see downloads. This is just like where you downloaded Drupal Core. Um, here, there's recommended versions, other releases, and development releases. What we're going to download is the most recent recommended uh, for Drupal 7. And so this is 7x 1.0. And I'll just grab the zip of this. It's going to download it. So as we can see, this path auto file is in my downloads. If we go to our site, it's in htdocs, st, we're going to go to sites. And then inside of here, you'll have all in default. Um, inside of all, there's a modules folder. This is where you're going to be putting this entire path auto folder. So you're just going to drag and drop this into your modules. We now have it there. As you can see, prior to this uh, tutorial, I've also dropped in a couple uh, C tools and jQuery update and views. These are all ones we're going to be using. Um, and I'll, uh, when we go over those lessons, uh, I'll just have you install them then. But for now, you know, don't worry about it. Okay, so under uh, requirements, it's also said that we need token, which I've opened here, and token is another module. So some modules are required by other modules, and some modules have requirements. Um, and basically, uh, sometimes to achieve one bit of functionality, you have to install a couple of different modules that work together to achieve what you're looking for. So we're going to grab this recommended, uh, this one right here, and same thing, we're going to unzip it, and we're going to throw it right in our modules folder. If you notice, uh, in your site's main folder, not your site's folder itself, but in here there's also a modules folder, this is not where you're going to be wanting to add contributed modules. This is where uh, modules like the core modules live. So don't worry about this modules folder, don't put them in here, put them in sites, all modules. Okay, so now that our modules are in the module folder, we're going to go back to our site. And in our site, we're going to click this modules link that's in your admin bar. Okay, um, this is just saying there's updates for some um, for some modules. We'll not worry about that right now. So we'll scroll all the way down. These are all the modules we have installed right now. And we're going to find Path Auto and Token, which are the two that we just put in here. And we're going to check both of these boxes. And we're, we're going to click Save and Configure. Um, save Configuration. Okay, options have been saved. We'll click out of this. Now we're going to go back to Configuration, Search and Metadata, to URL aliases. And if you'll notice now, at the top here, there's Patterns, Settings, Bulk Update, Delete Aliases. So these are a lot more options than we had before. Let's click Patterns. And here you'll see that you can set up patterns. So right now, the default pattern for all content types is it's going to say content slash no title. Well, we just want this to say no title. OK, I'm going to copy this. And for all article paths, uh, 
we're also going to just leave it at the default so we don't have to put anything there and then basic pages we're going to leave it as the default however for projects i want my projects to live in a uh, in a path that says projects or spell that correctly project and then slash node title. So now when we save these, it's going to always say projects and then whatever the node title is. Uh, if you'll notice these replacement patterns, um, these will uh, get a little bit complicated. Uh, they show you all sorts of things you can use, like node title. Um, you can also use node, ID, content type. Um, all this stuff is available for use. If you click through these, um, you can see what's all here. But for right now, we're just going to use node title and keep it simple. In taxonomy, it's going to be term, vocabulary. We don't need to change any of these because we're just worrying about our, our pages right now. So save and continue. Okay, so now if you'd expect to go to our projects page, you'd expect to see the new URL. Well, that's not the case. That doesn't update any of your old uh, nodes, just the ones from here on out. So to update all of your old nodes, let's go to find content and then we are going to select all of our files and under update options if you select this drop down you'll notice there's an update URL aliases so this is going to essentially take all of them and then put them through the patterns that we had made before and get them to what we need them to be okay it's updated four of them now if we go back to our page let's go to our home page click projects it's now st slash projects about is now slash about. This is perfect, it's exactly what we wanted, and if we create any new pages from here on out, it's going to follow the same pattern. Okay, well now you just learned how, how to install your first module. So feel free to paw through drupal.org and see what kind of cool little bits of functionality you can throw into your site and uh, what sort of great things you can accomplish. It should really open your mind up to the power that Drupal has. Um, also, you now learned how to have clean URLs and have those all looking nice to set them up from here on out. Okay, once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. Thanks for watching.